Oh, hello, Beard. It's your boy, Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. As some of you may recall, I have this semi-annual video that I do on my channel where I talk about one of the top five fragrance pickups so far in given year, and then I also do one at the end of the year which recaps my top 10 pickups for that year. And since we're in 2019 and we're at the midpoint, then here we go again. If you're new to this video series or just don't recall, here's some things to keep in mind. Now when I talk about the top five pickups of 2019, it doesn't mean that the fragrance has to come out in 2019. It just means that I had to pick it up it has to be in my possession at this moment. Now I do have some fragrances on the way, okay? But these are the top five that I have picked up in 2019. At the time of recording this video, I've picked up roughly 60 fragrances and I enjoy most of them, but these five have really got me excited and I've enlisted the help of my family this time around. I said, hey, these are my top ones that I picked up this year. Which ones would you grab? And I put them in a box and they were pretty close. In most cases, we were like within one of each other. So I think we are on a good pace here. So I want to drop them for y'all, man. In no particular order, let's get to it. Now the first fragrance I want to talk to you guys and girls about today comes from the house of Montal and this one is Montal's Chocolate Greedy. Now since I've had this one in my collection so far, I've talked about this one in a number of videos and a number of lists, weekly fragrance rotations, etc. So you know that this one is getting some play. Simply put, this one is Tonka Bing Vanilla and it smells like a homemade chocolate cake now i originally came across this one here from my people over at sax they sent me a sample like down in boca man they sent me like a care pack like big beer b try these out and i ended up picking this one up from crystal fragrances man super solid fragrance in my personal opinion i enjoy it like i like it a lot man and i know some of you be like hey man this is not as chocolatey as i need this is a fucking chocolate monster it's dope in my personal opinion. I like it. The missus likes it. And my son likes this one as well. Both sons actually like this. Solid fragrance for the house, man. I enjoy it. I will link this one down below because I think this one is fire. The next fragrance on my list also comes from the house of Montal. And this one is our Oud Leather. Crazy part about this one is... I did not plan on getting this fragrance at all. I was actually having a conversation with one of my sponsors, Luxury Scent Box. We were just having a conversation about potential fragrances that I would review. And they were like, you know what? We think you would like this particular fragrance. I was like, come on. Come on with it. Send it through. And man, this one is dope. Now, if you've been around on this channel for a while, then you know that I like my leather-based fragrances. So, Pete Game, man, the first review I did on this channel came from the house of Tom Ford. And that one was Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. And then Parfum du Mali, I also went through and I did uh, Gold Dolphin. Amazing fragrance. And then this one here, our old leather. These are all in the same realm to me, right? They, they, they could be cousins. And then also, obviously, I'm a big fan of Ombre Leather 2018, 2016. Very dope fragrances in my personal opinion, man. And these are all around the same line. Right? These is one for a man that's confident, one for a man who, you know, just, just is about success. These smell like success to me. Success in a bottle. I enjoy it. And I don't get to wear these as much as I like because it's so hot here, but you know me. I wear what I want when I feel like it, but I try to do it when it's appropriate and when these things will get the best performance and the best compliment factor overall. I enjoy it. And another one that I'm glad to have in the collection from Montal, Aoud Leather. The third fragrance I want to speak to you about today is one that I wasn't sure I was actually going to pick up. It came out in 2018. Some of you may know what this is because I recently just finally did the review after a lot of people asked for it. And this comes from the house of YSL and this one is Y-E-D-P or Eau de Parfum, right? I enjoy this one and I did not think I was going to like it as much as I've grown to like it right so initially when i first sprayed this one i did not like it i wasn't a fan at all kind of like i was on the first one like on the original yedt but over time testing it trying it you know doing some behind the scenes things on this one and i gave my official review on it i, I think this is a dope fragrance i like it i didn't give it like a the best rating out there but 
it gets compliments it wears well and it's one that i can wear a lot here in this great state of florida because it's, it's top man and this one can work all the time and it lasts a lot so why edp um the kids like it the missus likes it i like it it garners compliments and a lot of you guys and girls out there like it as well so why not be one of the best pickups of 2019 so far so now we are down to the final two pickups of 2019 that i enjoyed the most like my top pickups so far and this one comes from the house of byron parfums now listen in 2018 i was really excited about a fragrance that i got from byron parfums and that one was mula mula i enjoy it that one made a ton of my list it's a compliment monster ladies love it i was like not sure what to expect when i was told about this fragrance the name of this fragrance threw me way off it's called the chronic and i'm happy it smells the way it does because this thing is a beast Listen, man, this one is another gourmand type of fragrance. I enjoy it a lot. This is another one that's like best suited for those cooler days outside. But me, man, I enjoy it. It's sweet. It's resinous. It performs well. It garners compliments. I'm not sure what more you can ask for. Um, to me, I enjoy it. I know this one didn't get the ton of love that Mula Mula got. But it's one that I'm happy to have in the collection in the top five pickups so far. So I'm not fully sure if any of these fragrances will make it to the top ten at the end of the year. But they're primed to get it done, man. And finally, we have the final fragrance. And I enjoy it. Like a lot. The only thing is my son, he wears this one more than me. Well, he was when, when school was still in. He was wearing this one more than me. Um, this one is from the people over at Shea and Blue. And this one is called Salt Caramel, all right? Monster, amazing fragrance. I've taken pictures and placed this in my Instagram story, Snapchat. I mean, this is fire, all right? If you're into gourmand fragrances like your boy, then this is one that is going to work for you. It's salt, it's caramel, has some vanilla in here, has a bit of woods in here to give it that additional backbone. Smells luxurious and it's at a price that, well, you can afford. This one is a rich, addictive, opulent fragrance. Niche quality for under a hundred bucks. Well, it's niche quality because it is a niche fragrance, man. It's from a niche fragrance house. They specialize in creating these amazing scents. I enjoy this one a lot, man. So those are my top five fragrance pickups so far of 2019. So far. Obviously, I'll do the top ten at the end of the year. But in the meantime, I want to know what have been the top five pickups for you so far if you picked up five if you only picked up one man what was it i want to know all right because i'm looking for more fragrances to pick up i'm looking for more fragrances to review and to put in this collection of mine okay as always i'm your boy big beard b don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again and do me a favor man you already know just go ahead and do it yeah you can do it if you haven't already done it just hit the god